This is a quick video to document how I'm forming the heat exchanger coils. Here's the original coil of three-quarter tubing. Came in all tightly coiled on the pallet and I hoisted it up with a bunch of ropes to the beam so that I could get it up off the ground and then untangle it. I was concerned it was going to be like a snared slinky. And then I cut a section of that off and then I'm going to go back into where I built a little forming rig and what I did is I put a four-foot extension rod to the forming rollers so that I could have the coil come out across. Normally the handle would be right by the forming roller. And I just used a two-by up above and some strings holding rods with some ideally plastic to turns and so this large diameter here was how far I formed it down from the original diameter and the smaller diameter is how much I'm forming it in a single pass although this was more than I should have bitten off with this and I almost ended up with a mess and here is how it goes. So basically I just can crank it and hopefully you can see the coils turning. It's not that hard to do, so this could obviously be motorized. coils coming out and being supported by one dowel and the original supported by a different one at a different elevation. forming needed for the first stage of the heat exchanger. This will form down a couple more times in diameter with small passes to get it to the finish diameter at about 11-12 inches. <laughs> 